What is going on YouTube? It is your boy KMac here and it's time for another episode of Mailbag with KMac and I will be answering all of your questions that you guys have left in the comments and have left me on Twitter and all that kind of fun stuff. If you guys are not following me on Twitter, please go do that. And is my Twitter handle is at KMac Time with no spaces. I know I've enjoyed talking to the people that uh, tweet me over there. They've been wanting to talk to them, cartoon conspiracy theory videos, and it's a very fun time over there. So please go do that. But let's kick this kick, get this started. Excuse me, with a question from King of Kings Var. He asks, "Do you watch wrestling?" Uh, I, and I'm, I don't really watch a whole lot of wrestling. In fact, I don't really watch it ever. The only time I ever really watch it is to watch one of my good friends from my hometown. He's actually on Monday Night Raw sometimes. He is uh, he's actually a wrestler, and he, he's actually gone professional. And it's really cool because I used to know him when uh, he used to wrestle locally. I used to go watch him wrestle locally. And uh, he you know, basically moved out to Florida and followed his dreams. And basically, he, he, he succeeded. He's on Monday Night Raw. He's got a contract with uh, whatever that is. I think it's WWE or WWF. I'm not really sure. Um, but his, uh, if you want to look him up, his uh, stage name is CJ Parker. So please go give him a shout out. Tell him that I sent you if you can find him on the internet somewhere. That'd be very much appreciated. Tell him that KMAC sent you all the way from Gardner, Illinois. He'll know what you're talking about. Now, Krusty Kingler asks, what type of gym leader would I be if I was in a Pokemon uh, game? That's a very good question. There's so many types, uh, but I don't like to, uh, if I have a Pokemon party, I don't like to just have one type. That is pretty much every gym leader's downfall is because you can strategize for them, get a type move that's effective against them, and just take them down with it. But uh, if I had to pick one or two types... I would definitely go Dragon or Fire or a combination just because those are my two favorite types of all time and I could get to use a Charizard and I would feel totally badass about it. Ellis Fitz 1995 asked, have you ever visited the UK? If so, what city? She also asked, if you haven't visited, what would you like to visit? Now this is a very interesting question because if you guys are not aware of this, I was actually supposed to earlier this year, the first semester of last year, go to England, go to Canterbury University and study abroad. But uh, at the last second, I ended up not doing it. I actually had all my classes and stuff picked out and had my flights and all that good stuff. But I backed out last second just because I was in a relationship and I didn't want to do the long distance thing. And looking back now, I wish I would have um, just because not only did I break up with that girl, but um, it would have been so, so much fun. And I, I wish I would have so much. And uh, I probably won't ever get the opportunity to go well, again like that where it's so cheap and you get to see all, of, all those great sites. And I really, really wish I would have went. But uh, if I would like to visit one thing, like I said, I would love to go to Canterbury. Um, it's a very, very cool place in England. And I would also like to go to um, England to see, um, basically just see the sites, basically. And then I like to go all over Europe. But uh, good question, good question. Moving on. Obo in my house asks, why did you get a 360? Um, there's a very funny story behind this, actually. There's one night I was sitting at home flipping through the channels. And it was back in like 2006 when Halo 2 was still like the MLG scene. It was basically the big game back then, even though Halo 3 was about to come out. Um, I saw on TV back then they had like these things. They do the MLG tournaments. And they are actually on TV, not like on Twitch or anything. They were actually on like TBS and like that super late at night. And I had actually seen... Uh, the final match between Final Boss and Carbon, and it was so, so interesting, and I loved the communication and the online skills and all that stuff so much that I decided right then and there that I was going to go buy a 360 and buy Halo, and I was going to play that game, and I played the fuck out of it, and I, I've been hooked on it ever since, and I, I, I cannot, cannot um, say how much I love that game. I love this system. But uh, he also asked, who do you like better, Smosh or PewDiePie? If you're not familiar with these guys, they are two huge, mega huge YouTubers that make great, great content. Um, I loved Smosh's uh, Pokemon in real life videos. They're hilarious. I've seen them all probably about 20 times, and it still makes me laugh. And I love PewDiePie's content too, but if I had to pick one, I'd probably go with Smosh just because he's a little funnier. And uh, I don't know. I like his stuff. But I do like PewDiePie a lot too. Don't get me wrong. I love both these guys. But uh, probably go with Smosh. Good question. Little Sly Fox 64 asks, Hey, KMac, what is your favorite Pokemon game? Now, this is probably the easiest question I've ever been asked. If you guys are not aware of this by now, you are just not watching these videos pretty very closely because I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times that Pokemon Yellow version will be my favorite game of all time until I die. I will play the shit out of this game. I still have, I think I have two actual hard copies of it. I have it on my laptop. I have it on my phone. I have it on my iPod. I have it on everything. I've played it through probably about 50 fucking times. I've, I love it so much. I know everything about that game and I could probably play it with my eyes closed. I know I can get through Rock Tunnel without Flash. Um, just by memorizing it, which is kind of nerdy, but, you know, whatever. It's probably my favorite game of all time, really, and uh, I love that game so fucking much. Good question, though. Nivea Reyes, I know I'm butchering your name there, and I apologize for that. Ask, do you watch anime, and if so, what is your favorite? 
unfortunately, I haven't really watched a whole lot of anime, like, ever in my life, but I did watch, like, some of the series um, when they are on Toonami when I was a little bit younger. I know I watched Bleach, uh, I watched Cowboy Bebop, and I watched Gundam. I don't even know if those are qualify as anime or not. I'm not really big on the uh, whole genre, but I would say that Gundam, I did love Gundam when I was, when I was younger. I'm not sure which saga there it was, because I know that there's about a million sagas, but um, good question. Moving on. Giovanni Perez, I'm hopefully I did better on the name this time. I'm really trying, but I'm sure I still butchered it. Asks if I like Mexican food at all. And I love Mexican food. I really, really do. And I know it's gonna hurt a lot of people's feelings when I say this, but I love Taco Bell as well. I know it's not really real Mexican food. I know it's pretty much just you know taco meat in a shell. But I do love Taco Bell. It's great drunk food, and it's great uh, tasting when you're pretty wasted. So uh, I do love actual authentic. Food in um, Mexico, too. I do love, like, I go get their authentic salsa and burritos and stuff. Oh, I love it so much. But, uh, good question. Ventriloquistrini. I'm, I'm terrible with whatever the pronouncing it is, but I tried. I really did. Asked, do I like Jeff Dunham and other ventriloquists? Um, question of that. I do love Jeff Dunham. I love his puppets. You know, his comedy act is pretty hilarious. I've seen all the specials on HBO and on Netflix. And uh, I do think it's a very interesting hobby. I, I'm sure that you'll have fun when you get into it, but I'm sure I would be terrible at it. But uh, I do love Death Dunham, and I do love um, his act. So, good question. Mr. M for Music asks, have I ever played any of the Borderlands games? And unfortunately, I have not. I have not played them. I usually don't have the money in my budget to buy games like that. I usually just stick to uh, Call of Duties and Halos and Battlefields and Gears and occasional games like Assassin's Creed 3 I have Ducky for Christmas. But other than that, I don't really have the money to go out and buy these games. I, I wish I did. I wish I'd play it. I've seen, I've seen the entire second game played through all the way by Woody and Wings and all I've seen a million playthroughs so I pretty much know the entire storyline of the second one and I do love it maybe I'll go out and rent it or pick it up and use some time and give it a play but I do enjoy it good question though Escafaha HD I'm terrible with these YouTube names ask if I think Cartoon Network has gone through shit after they started airing live shows instead of actual shows and I haven't really been watching a whole lot of Cartoon Network as you guys know I am 20 years old I don't watch a whole lot of cartoons outside of regular show and Adventure Time because those shows are, let's be real, are fucking hilarious. And um, I haven't seen a whole lot of their live action shows. I know that Nickelodeon did like I, I Carly and stuff like that. I did enjoy Drake and Josh though, however, back in the day. But um, I don't know. But I will say this. I do like 90s cartoons from Cartoon Network a lot better. I do like 90s uh, Cartoon Network better than current Cartoon Network, even though I do enjoy Adventure Time and regular show. Good question. Easy Perez asks, have you ever tried any drugs? And this is an interesting question. I seem to get this question an awful lot, and I don't really know why. You guys must peg me for some kind of pothead stoner or something. Um, but no, I don't really dabble in drugs. Um, not really my scene. I know that a lot of people do them. I've seen people do them. I've been at plenty of parties where people have done drugs. And not just like weed or something like that. I've seen some pretty messed up stuff. And you can't really get away from it when you're in a college town. You go to a college party, there'll be some kind of molly or ecstasy or blow or who god knows what but i just really try and stay away from that um if i've ever tried a drug i can't say that i haven't but i don't want to get into which ones i don't want to say not a fun drug but um i basically i guess i guess go ahead and say it's just probably adderall that's probably as far as i'd ever go it's not really a drug but it's definitely not prescribed to me but i took it for a couple times for um study for finals and i really enjoyed it but i don't really mess with it too much and i don't really abuse it so that's pretty much it for my drug history. I'm not real big on drugs. Now, Sarah Degnulut. Oh, God, I know I butchered that last name. Something fierce. I'm so sorry about that. But to uh, ask, do you believe life is on other planets, even if it's microorganism or something in Um, uh, I am actually a huge believer that there is some kind of uh, intelligent life form out there somewhere. I mean, it's basically just a numbers game when you think about it. And, uh, you know, they're just it, it, we can't be the only ones. I mean, will we ever find it? Maybe. that yeah, Probably not. Maybe. Who knows? But I do believe it's out there. Whether we find it or not is an even better question because I do believe it's out there somewhere. It's just there's just too much and uh, there's just too much out there that we haven't seen or explored yet to not be, to be the only ones there. There has to be something. That's just my thoughts. Good question. Jared Aragon Videos 1 asks besides pumpkin pie, what is your favorite hookah flavor? Oh, this is a great question. I love smoking hookah. If you guys are not aware, I have a giant ass hookah and I smoke quite often. I have, there's a local smoke shop in my town and it has just hundreds and hundreds of flavors to pick from. I love trying new ones. Uh, lately, I've been on this uh, 
uh, flavor called Palmberry. It's now it's a Starbuzz flavor. It's probably one of my favorites, but my hands down favorite flavor right now besides pumpkin pie would have to be acid, a green acid. It's also a Starbuzz flavor, but it's uh, it's acid tobacco, and it, oh man, it's so much, so good. It's like a minty kind of minty flavor mixed with like fruity pebbles. Oh, it's so good. If you've not tried that one, please try that flavor. It's really good. Junior Panita 33 uh, asks, "What is my favorite fighter in the UFC?" Uh, I'd have to say Joe Lozon, just because uh, he's in all of Woody's videos, and I know he plays video games. And he's a pretty cool guy, so I have to go with Joe Lozon, even though he's not one of the bigger name guys. He's not in all the major fights, but he's pretty awesome, and I love seeing him in Woody's videos. And he seems like a really cool guy, so he's probably be my favorite fighter. And he also asks, "What is my favorite animation movie?" Um, that's a tough question. Uh, animation movie, I love a lot of the Disney movies, as gay as that sounds, like Up was really good, and Lion King was obviously an all-time classic. I'd have to probably say Up or Lion King are my favorite animation movies, just because they're so fucking awesome. Damien Helbert asks, what system do you play the most? Now, for you guys that don't know, I do not actually own a PlayStation 3, but I do play one occasionally. A bunch of my buddies have one, and we've been playing The Last of Us a lot lately. I go over to my buddy's place, and we'll have a few drinks, and we'll play um, The Last of Us a lot. And I do love that game, and I do love PlayStation 3. But basically, all I really play is 360, or uh, um, I have uh, N64, I have a GameCube, I have a PS2, and a PS1. But the one I play the most is obviously the 360, just to get gameplays for you guys, and that's the one I like the most. Good question. Lewis Cruz 1600 asks, have you ever played the Half-Life games? Uh, no, I have not. I've never played a Half-Life game. I've never played any of the games that come in the orange box. I've never played Portal or anything like that. I know they're super mega huge hits, so I should probably get around to doing that sometime. But uh, maybe I'll go rent those games, too, because they look a lot of fun, but I just never got around to playing them. Good question, though. But that'll just about do it for all the questions this week, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to ask me anything at all, you guys can feel free, like I said, to leave a comment to ask me a question. You guys can send me a tweet over on Twitter, like I said. Follow me at, at KMAC Time. You guys can message me there. You can tweet me there. You guys can follow my Facebook page, which is Switch Pipe Gaming. There's actually some faces in between that. I don't really look at that one too much. Maybe I'll make a new Facebook page for you guys. Who Going knows? Somewhere. But um, like I said, leave a comment. If you guys could please leave a like on this video, it would be very much appreciated. It helps me out tremendously. And uh, as always, guys, game the fuck on. Until next time, peace out. Doing. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys could, like I said, drop a like. be very much appreciated. And don't forget to leave a comment. And also tell me which gameplays you guys want to see. I've been mixing up lately with a lot of N64. I want to know what you guys think. have to think about that. But as always, guys, game the fuck on. Until next time, peace out.